What's up guys? Today I just wanted to do a little review between the Apple Vision Pro and the MetaQuest 3, um, which are both VR slash AR headsets, one by Apple and then one by Meta. As a disclaimer, I'm not a professional tech vlogger or a tech reviewer or a geek by any means. I'm just very interested in VR and AR technology and I'm just your average consumer. So just wanted to share my experience with using both products, especially the more premium product and how that compares to a product that is only $500. The Apple Vision Pro's price is $3,500, starting off with the 256 gigabyte version, and the MetaQuest 3 actually starts off at $499, and that's for 128 gigabytes. So first off, I wanna start off with talking about the resolution of each of the headsets. So I'm not entirely sure what the specific resolution specifications are. I can go ahead and put them um, here and here, but I will say that for the MetaQuest, when you're looking at the VR display, it seems pretty clear. I would describe it close to somewhere close to like 1080p. And then when you're looking at the screen on the Apple Vision Pro, especially with the applications, I would say that it is pretty close to 4K or something close to Retina, which they do advertise as. Moving on to the pass-through, I will say that the MetaQuest 3 pass-through is actually pretty comparable to Apple Vision Pro. In terms of the graininess, I would say that the MetaQuest 3 is a little bit more grainy, but is it worth you know, $3,000 difference for the uh, resolution that you get in terms of the pass-through for the Vision Pro? I don't think so. I personally think that the pass-through on both the devices are almost pretty comparable with the Vision Pro's pass-through being slightly better in terms of the latency. So like, for example, if I were to move my hand in front of the Vision Pro like this while I'm wearing it, you would see some sort of lag. And then versus if you were to wear the Vision Pro and move your hand around like this, then you would probably see almost zero to no lag because I think the pass-through transfers the transfers like the movement um, like as 12 milliseconds or something like that. Like, like I said, guys, this is not an official tech review by any means. I'm just sharing my experience as an average consumer. So I hope that you'll be able to find this helpful. As I mentioned, the MetaQuest 3 materials are a little bit more plasticky. The dual strap band feels really, it feels cheap, but it feels also sturdy enough to where you can wear it. And it's pretty comfortable, honestly. It's a very simple design. And really all you get with the MetaQuest is the headset and two controllers. And for the Vision Pro, all you really get is the headset and you control everything with your hands. For the Vision Pro, I will say that everything here is feels a lot more premium material um, compared to the MetaQuest. And then I also wanted to mention that the dual strap band is really comfortable on the MetaQuest. It feels very, um, it feels very premium. And the MetaQuest also comes with a protective covering on the headset as well. In terms of the actual device, when it comes to the software, I'll say that the MetaQuest definitely wins in this area because the MetaQuest has a lot more applications that are built for it. You can virtual desktop on the MetaQuest. You can play a lot of different games like Resident Evil 4, for example, and Beat Saber. There's just a lot more applications and games built for the MetaQuest platform that aren't on the Apple Vision Pro. For the Apple Vision Pro, I would say that if you have a Mac or an iPhone and you really value that ecosystem of Apple. Um, it's probably a good device, but I just personally don't see myself using it that much when you could just pull out your phone, reply to someone through, you know, through messages rather than replying to someone through messages on the Vision Pro, just because when you're tapping and just looking and moving your eyes and stuff, it's really not that much easier than typing it on your phone. In fact, I would even say that it's harder to send a message on the Vision Pro than to just type it out in iMessage. Another feature that the Vision Pro advertises is that its ability to connect to your Mac and you can essentially turn your MacBook screen into a giant display and basically do whatever you want on there. It's essentially just like another external monitor, except that monitor can be up to like something like, I don't know, 80, 80 inches, you know, diagonally or something like that. I would say that this is useful in the sense that if you are on if you're on an airplane and if you don't want anyone to see your screen you could put on the vision pro edit your videos or watch youtube and no one would know what you're watching right or no one would know what you're seeing because you have the vision pro on so i would say that in that you know context as a productivity device then the i can see some sort of use case for the vision pro although you could technically remote desktop or use virtual desktop with your MetaQuest. so in both regards you can essentially do the same thing although i'm not sure if you can virtual desktop within a mac I will say that the Vision Pro is also really heavy on like the front of your face and the it's just you can't really wear it for too long honestly without getting your eyes 
uh, like hurt or like you would get it, it would just really be uncomfortable after you wear it for a long time so um, it's not as comfortable as you think it would be just because the device is just so heavy I mean just holding both like the Vision Pro is significantly heavier like I'm literally like not even putting that much force to lift this but this one is like it feels almost like a two or three pound weight when it comes to both devices and comparing them if you're trying to get into VR I would personally recommend the Quest 3 if you are just trying to play video games you don't care about the productivity aspect you don't even have a Mac I would just go ahead and go with the Meta Quest 3 because the resolution is pretty good and honestly the community and the games that are available for the Quest 3 are just way more vast than what is offered in the App Store for the Vision Pro and honestly when it comes down to a price benefit um, analysis or cost benefit analysis I will say that the Quest 3 is very good value if you're trying to get into the VR and AR headspace especially if you want to start gaming with VR because there's just way more games on the VR for Quest. I would say the pros of the Vision Pro is really the Apple ecosystem that's built in. The ability to text message, receive notifications from your iPhone through this headset is really cool. Um, the ability to connect to your Mac is really cool. The fact that this is pretty aesthetically pleasing is also cool. The eye tracking, the eye tracking that they advertise for the Vision Pro, I don't think that it works that well, to be honest. Like there's some times where I'm like, I'm like looking at the thing, I'm looking at the number, or I'm looking at whatever I need to do to, you know, with the hand gestures and everything, and it just doesn't move. Um, it doesn't like move the cursor like a mouse. It, it just doesn't work perfectly. I don't know if it's specifically this headset or if it's just the device in general, but sometimes it works beautifully fine, but other times it feels like you're really having to concentrate and look at the thing versus, you know, using controllers for the MetaQuest where it just feels more intuitive. It feels a lot more easy to control versus concentrating something with your eyes. Like you really have to like, focus on a certain point and then click and also the hand tracking doesn't work perfectly either so with that being said um, that kind of wraps up my thoughts of each headset and ultimately my my final concluding thought is that if you're trying to get into vr and just want to dive into the um, headspace no pun intended um, go with the meta quest 3 guys um, the community here is way more developed there is meta horizon worlds which is a really fun game there's you know an exorbitant amount more games than there are on the vision pro and the price point is just significantly better as well. Yeah, that's pretty much it guys. Um, hope you enjoy the video and you like more of this tech content, feel free to let me know in the comments below and hope you subscribe to my channel, follow my Instagram if you haven't already. And with that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up the video. Thank you for watching. Um, hope to see you soon in the next tech review. Peace guys.